Hi, it's Carrie with Picasso Cat Treasures. Where have I been? Well, it's been a while, as you can tell if you look at my hair. I'm finally starting to just let it go gray uh, because I got tired of coloring it. And so it's uh, about eight, nine months into me growing it out, and it has been a journey. At the same time, I decided I would just allow my curl to be what it is. And so I kind of look different, but I'm still the same person that was on all of those videos before. Where have I been for the last couple of years? Well, I decided to retire from reselling. And the reason was I just didn't have time for it in my schedule anymore. And I, it just took so much time and I was ready to retire for a number of reasons. And I did. So I went ahead and I let go of a lot of my equipment. Of course, I still go to garage sales and I still, um, when I find something that's incredibly good as a deal, I will buy it and I will put it up on eBay. Uh, because, you know, you just gotta, you know, you find a necklace for $2, it's worth $100, you know, something like that. So <clears throat> in the last couple of years, um, I have gone through a few things personally. And uh, that's why you see me filming in the place I'm the most comfortable right now in my life is literally sitting on my bed with my dogs. I have three, so you hear them and see them and a cat. And uh, they're terribly non-trained. Um, they're all mutts. They're all uh, rescue dogs. Um, but they're mine. And they have comforted me through a couple of difficult years. We've all had tough years. But then I realized that I still like unboxing things. I still like buying things. And I love sharing them if I find them. And I also love to share things that I've found, say, on Amazon or uh, Timu or... Uh, even a thrift store, a Walmart, anywhere that I would buy again, that I actually think is a great product. Um, and I love surprises. So I love to do, I love to open advent calendars and just boxes, like surprise boxes and things like that. And I thought I can still do that. And anything that I'm not willing to keep for myself, I can give away. I can give away to anybody in my family, my friends, or I can, if it's in good enough condition, give it to a thrift store. Uh, or a charity organization that could use it. I'm not really interested in uh, buying huge amounts of bulk product to sell anymore. And a lot of things that I buy, I won't be selling at all. I'll just be using them, but I want to share because it's fun. It's kind of opening presents every day. Uh, it's been really, really tough for all of us. I know for the last couple of years, we're all um, struggling. And I have spent a lot of time watching YouTube videos, content, put out by creators that I, I love. And they have helped me without knowing it. They have helped me through these very difficult times. And I so respect and so appreciate the creativity and the amount of work that goes into uploading on YouTube that I decided I would go back to it. And uh, I started a walking Napa Valley channel because I live in the Napa Valley and I've lived here for 38 years. And um, during my time that I was uh, not feeling great, very anxious, having a lot of health difficulties because of it, I started walking. I started walking miles, miles, like miles a day. Um, I will walk four to six miles a day as a way to help myself feel better. So I started filming it because I thought a lot of people can't walk, and uh, but they may want to see some of the places that I go. So same thing with my shopping and my, you know, buying discount boxes or surprise boxes of things. Um, I just really appreciate content creators right now and how much their willingness to sort of put themselves out there um, helped me feel better. I'm on the road to recovery and um, I know that my problems are nothing compared to what's going on in other parts of the world, but it isn't a competition. And I hope that the kind of new channel, it's still going to be an unboxing channel, basically. But uh, other than that, um, it won't be focused on the resale. I'll probably throw in like, I could get this much for this. Or I'm going to put this on Facebook. You know, I'm, I'm never going to not be a reseller. Uh, but I, I'm pulling back a little bit. So 
Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, no, I don't look anything like the thumbnails <laughs> that I have in the past where I had all different colors of hair. I decided to go ahead and go gray because I was just getting tired, you know, and uh, it's a, it's a journey. Ladies, it's a journey. And um, it's, she, my, my female cat agrees it's a journey. But it's, you know, I think it's worth it because the more I grow my gray hair, the more I look like the, the uh, older people in my family that I knew when I was young and um, that I loved so much. And I look at myself and I see myself in them now. And they were so wonderful. And um, I, I'm kind of, I know, I know. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of proud. I kind of see that my ancestors, you know. In myself so anyway um, enjoy your day and I hope you come back to watch my next video I'm going to do uh, the 15 things I bought last year on Amazon that I would buy again and again and again and I have if they're that kind of thing so I hope to see you next time bye oh keep your eyes open for treasure